Well, I didn't expect that one. So, yesterday we talked about an interview that Charlie Shibeta, a representative of Nintendo, had with VentureBeat. And that dealt with a totally different topic. It had to do with crossplay and Nintendo being surprisingly progressive. In fact, you know, check out that video above if you're curious. Today, as I was combing through that interview again, just to find out if there was anything interesting besides that, because it's a rather long interview, uh, there was this one part that came up that really has me excited. So I'm just going to get right into it. What it says. It says. Games Beat, which is Venture Beat's little name for their gaming section, says, For the rest of the year, what's the big message? Obviously Mario, but is there anything else? Charlie goes on to answer that. Games. If you want to be able to play games and not have a dry spell between any of the big launches, we think Nintendo Switch is a good place to be. We have a nice drum beat of first and third party. You'll never have to wait long. Just as you get through a game and you're starting to put your head up, put the periscope out to see what else is out there. Hopefully we'll have something right there for you. We've announced a nice lineup through this year. And next year we have some big games coming in Metroid Prime 4. 2018 will be based around Metroid Kirby, Yoshi, and the new Pokemon game that has been announced. We feel good about this lineup for this year and beyond. That, wow. So we knew Kirby, Yoshi, look fantastic. They're going to come next year. I wouldn't consider those big titles in the sense that they're going to drum up a lot of hype, but they're quality titles, you know, just like Kirby and Yoshi titles typically always are. You know, Epic Yarn and Woolly World, like these games are they're high quality games that are, are nice filler titles, right? You know, they're not the titles that drive sales, but they help cater to the audience that's already there. Metroid Prime 4 has a chance to bring lapsed Metroid fans over. And po Pokemon, I mean, the Pokemon RPG, that is going to bring over a lot of the 3DS fans, right? Those 3DS fans out there are going to be like, hey, we have our Pokemon on Switch, let's get into it. At least, that's a hope, anyways. So, this is awesome, but we need to temper our expectations just a little bit. A representative of Nintendo, probably their PR contact with GoNintendo.com, reached out and told Go Nintendo that there is no change in what they announced last week, which is that those two games are coming, but they have no specifically announced release window or year. And that's what it was underneath you, right? They just said those games are coming. We don't know when. Uh, Charlie was saying 2018. It, uh, if I had to venture to guess, one of those two games will probably come in 2018. I don't know if it's Metroid. I don't know if it's Pokemon. But one of those two games, assuming that they've been in development long enough, will probably hit in 2018 with the other one pushed to 2019. That's just my guess. Uh, it's possible they both come out in 2019. Heck, it's possible they both come out next year and Switch's second year almost ends up becoming bigger than their first year, which is hard to believe it could be bigger than their first year when you've got Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey this year. That That's just insane. So, yeah, like either way... It's exciting because Charlie is under the impression the games are coming next year. And I, whatever happens, this, this is crazy. Well, obviously, I, I don't think this, is, this isn't going to happen, right? There's no way Metroid Prime 4 and a Pokemon RPG on Switch is hitting in 2018. I, right? Maybe? Man, if that happens, I'm really curious what the hell is Nintendo doing for 2019. Because it, they're pulling out all the punches here. That Metroid Prime 4, Kirby, Yoshi, Pokemon RPG, potentially in 2018, that is just mm, 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 mm. Nintendo getting it all right. All right, baby. We'll see what happens in, in, at E3 next year, I guess. That's probably, that's probably when we'll actually get confirmation on if and when those games are arriving in 2018. Anyways, this is Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. Just giving you a quick update today on what I thought was some really crazy news. 
If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike it, hit that dislike button. Comment below. Subscribe for more. Go ahead and support us on Patreon.com at Patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. That'll help us get new production equipment and help support us and enable us to keep making these videos or keep posting news at NintendoPrime.net. Oh, by the way, we post daily news over at NintendoPrime.net if you're looking for just the news and no opinion, which, I mean, you're on this channel, so I assume you're looking for opinion, but hey, for those that want just some straight news, we got uh, we got that for you. We took care of you. You can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nintendo Prime. And we are on Twitter, at Ninty Prime. If you just want to follow me and not necessarily Nintendo Prime, I'm also on Twitter, at Nate Jantz. Heck, follow Nintendo Prime and follow me. Whatever. We don't post the same tweets. It is what it is. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one.